What's up? How's it going? We're back. <coughs> My name is Nikki for you, those of you that don't know. I do a lot of photography, video stuff, traveling stuff, that kind of thing. And this is my boyfriend Kyler and our newest widow member, but we'll get to that later. <laughs> this video is going to be all about our zoo, which you can hear right now. And we're going to introduce you guys to all of them because a few of you have been asking. So um, with that note, let's, let's uh, get to it. Before we get to it though, don't forget to subscribe, ring the notification bell, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below on which animal you like the most. If you want to see more about any of the animals, any of that kind of stuff and share it with all your friends. And again, I'm sorry. One of the animals is very loud right now. All right, so we're gonna start off with our two fish tanks. We have one really, really tiny two gallon right here. It's got four guppies in there and they're pretty neat. They are just super active and add a little color to the kitchen. So that's what's in the uh, two gallon here and move it over this. So we have our 15 gallon fish tank, which if you remember from the past, you guys saw me set this up and we actually ended up putting a bunch of shrimp in here. So there's orange eye blue tiger shrimp and orange really shrimp and then we also have two Takashi Amano shrimp and there's a couple of snails floating around in there too. This is how they get fed. I don't really know what the heck is in that bowl but they dig it. They eat a mixture of like fruits and vegetables that are freeze dried. All those little things right there are little eggs. So that one's pregnant, that one's pregnant. There was another one that just swam off that was pregnant. Right next to the blue one, see? The blue guy. Oh my god. I'm so excited. Where is it? This little dot right here. Is a shrimpy. It's a little baby shrimpy. Maybe, maybe you can get this one. He's on, he's on the glass. This little thing here. This is a little baby shrimpy. We got little baby shrimpies. Definitely orange one, but. Oh my gosh, there's so many. You see a bunch? There's Yeah. Like there's a one there, and a one there, oh, yeah. and a one there, and there's one up here. There's in the corners. Oh, next we have Monty. <laughs> and Monty is my oldest pet. He is like 14 years old, 13, 14 years old. He's old. And he's a ball python, and he's super nice, and he's probably our most <laughs> old boy, our most mellow pet that mom is currently scaring the Jesus out of. Sorry. Monty's like three and a half feet long-ish, but he's kind of fat. He's my favorite cuddler, but he hangs out under our TV right there all the time. Say hello, Monty. Hi, Monty. Ooh. Ooh. He's a little head shy. He doesn't like to be poking in the head super often. But other than that, he loves pets. He does. He loves pets. He likes to sit on the couch with me and wrap around my waist in the couch and hang out, take naps. Do all that good stuff. Monty and the other animals don't get to hang out together. Yeah, Monty's the only one that hangs out by himself because he might hurt other animals. He's hard to read sometimes. Yeah, his body language isn't as clear. Yeah, as clear. The rest of the animals, it's like, oh yeah, you're, you're upset. He's so sweet though, like for real. Hopefully he doesn't bite my ear right now. It'd be great. It'd be great footage if he just <sighs> bit me right in the ear or wrapped himself around my neck. But in all the years we've had Monty, he's never bit nobody. No. He's never been aggressive towards me or really anybody or anything besides his food ever. Is he trying to go on my shirt? He just put his <laughs> face like so hard against your neck. Oh, look at, look at, he's giving me a that, snakey hug. That's a snake hug right there. Look at him, a snakey hug. He's probably just trying to figure out where to strangle me. We love him so much and he's the least problematic child we have. Come here, Sloan. Come here. Come up. Come here, baby. This is our next guy. He's coming in hot. This is Stallone. This is our very, very food motivated iguana. He used to be Stella, and then he grew up, and we were discovered that he is indeed Stallone. And his favorite things in the world are collard greens, watermelon, and blackberries. And sometimes he has trouble distinguishing your fingers between the three. Just for common knowledge, iguanas are not like magically friendly creatures. That's a lot of work to get them to be like this friendly. It's a lot. And they have very, 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 very sharp teeth. So I'm going to feed him a blackberry. 
I'm gonna do it with this giant tweezer because I don't want to get my fingers bitten off. Ready? Can you come this way? Come this way. Oh, show everybody your face. Oh, yum yum. Alone does one trick. Sometimes. Oh, oh. and he's not very good at catching. <laughs> or much, to be honest, but he can stand on two feet. He also is a tremendous, you notice them, is a tremendous fan of red socks. He will eat your socks and your feet if you wear red socks or if your toenails are painted red. Right now my toenails and my fingernails are painted orange and I'm a little scared that that was a super bad idea. Stallone is also our, um, well I guess he's now one of our two middle little children. He used to be the baby, but he's not the baby anymore. And ever since he's not, oh, no, oh, not my fingers. That was I a fingernail move there. He thought my fingers were not my toes. <laughs> Sometimes he just gets a little excited. No, not my toes. But as I was saying, he's like one of our two middle children now. And ever since he's not been the baby, he acts like an angry two-year-old <laughs> all the time. Stallone grew up taking showers with me and going on walks and wow. doing a lot. So he's definitely come a long way from being a crazy, Oops. rambunctious little Iggy to being a little more dignified and pretty much only runs after food now. Look at it. Where are you going? Stallone. And that's Stallone. Iguanas are really smart creatures and really aggressive, so don't just think after watching this video you can just go buy an iguana. Not a good idea. Unless you are dedicated and have a lot of time. It's bath time for somebody. Bath time! Stallone, stay in there. Stay in there. Okay, we gotta turn the light off because he's gonna come back. Stay in there. Stallone, I have food for you. You gonna come out? No, okay. Oh gosh, we're wrangling them. Ha! <laughs> These are probably the ones y'all have been waiting for. These are our sweet little baby kitties. This is our, what did Taylor Swift say? Itty bitty pretty kitty committee. <laughs> this is our itty bitty pretty kitty, kitty committee. And they're super sweet. This is Helios. He's my baby boy and he's seven years old now. He is now a middle child, but he used to not be a middle child. But he's now a middle child. He's kind of a favorite. Yeah, he's a little bit of a favorite. And this is Ceres. I made a floor switch. Helios. Helios, come here. So Helios is six years old and he came to me from a lady that me and my friend met many, many years ago, or six Literally years ago. Literally in a store. And we went to Petco. We had nothing for him or anything like that. And we just carried him around and got him. And he was very, very itty bitty kitty. And since then, he's become like basically my best friend. And he has lived in Colorado and South Dakota and Texas and Oklahoma, Oklahoma and... New York City. New York City. He's lived all over the state of Colorado in the mountains in the south in Denver. He's just a well-traveled kitty and he likes to go on road trips with us and we go on hikes. He's just a good boy. And he also, when he's done eating Mr. Helios, come here. He come here. He knows some tricks when he's not being camera shy. Come here. <laughs> so Helios also knows a couple of tricks. He knows how to high five. He also knows how to stand up. He's the best kitty in the whole world, basically. So if you're ever feeling sad, you can never feel sad when a cat gives you a high five. So, pretty much the greatest thing. And here we have... This is not yours. Ceres. And this is Helios' new little brother. He is our new seven, six-month-old Maine Coon cat, who... What? Or Maine Coon mix cat, rather, who is definitely hey. a new friend. And he's really, really high energy and... A really wonderful oh, friend, Helios, who also really likes treats, but we don't know a whole lot of tricks yet. We just kind of... Bite my fingers off. Yeah, we're really aggressive with the treats. But we can sit sometimes when we're paying attention. Well, he's already sitting, so look how good the cat is. 
<laughs> we did that on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> um, but so Ceres is hopefully going to be our new adventure buddy so that him and Helios can hang out together. And yep. Come here. Yeah. Ceres, come here. You sit. So far they get along really well. It was a rough Ow, first play. couple of days. They were a little unsure of one another. But now they get along and they play and they love each other. And love so watching the iguana. They love, they hang out and terrorize the loan <laughs> together. It's great. So like Kyler said, Ceres is um, like six and a half, seven months old. We adopted him from the Dumb Friends League at four months old. And he had a brother who looked just like him but was like a, definitely a little bit more scared than him. Hey, you gotta lick my finger, not bite my finger. And so we decided to get Ceres instead. And he's been like super sweet and has a lot to learn, but he's my little baby and I love him so much. And he's like the punk little brother right now. He definitely is. We he just, really is a punk. We love him, but he's crazy. Uh, he's so fluffy. So fluffy. We're pretty sure he's gonna be like giant, sixteen pounds at the least. He is nine pounds at like six and a half months old, so he's pretty large. But oh my god! <laughs> so he's an adventure. <laughs> that would be Stallone climbing into plants of the house. I don't know what to do. And the mom are locked in a death stare right now. Too long, let go. Let go. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. Stallone is back. <laughs> Just being a crazy one. Yeah, so have you ever. Really, and that's him telling me he doesn't want to be pet. So, what I was gonna say is. Ceres is probably gonna be a fetch kind of cat. Maybe Stallone will be a fetch kind of iguana. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> oh my god! Stallone, you can't eat that! <laughs> now that we've. Uh, Got Stallone under control. Back to this little guy. Well, why do you snort like that? He's king of the mean mug. <laughs> he really is. He's a mean mugger, if you can't tell. He's not happy to be held. Oh, he doesn't like to be held. He's also the loudest cat I've literally ever heard in my life. And, um, I don't... He's very talkative. He's constantly yelling. Constantly. I took him into the grocery store the other day to pick up some potatoes, and we have backpacks for them when we take them places. And he meowed so loud that all 50 people in the produce section turned around and stared at me and was like, what is happening? I'm like, I just have my kitty. I'm trying to get some potatoes. I know, I'm sorry you don't like it, but I just want you to be in the video. He said, good boy. Ow, that my finger. But he's the sweetest little baby. He's the first pet that I've ever bought myself. That's my finger, please don't chew on it. So he's my first little baby, and I love him a lot. He kind of cuddles me, kind of doesn't, but he his favorite things are like string, food, ow, and anything he can chase. He is an expert fly catcher. He's got like a two and a half foot vertical. With like, 180 turn, complete backflip. Yeah, that's kind of my little, my little, my little fluffers over there. He doesn't have any nicknames yet. So this is about to be a really messy outro, but that's kind of like our whole zoo that we have here. If you guys have any questions, please, please, please leave a comment below. Oh, I know, I'm sorry, but you had to say goodbye. Can you say subscribe? <laughs> <laughs> the only time he's silent. <laughs> But yeah, you guys subscribe so you can see more of the shenanigans that go along with the zoo. Let us know if you guys want to see more videos. If you have any questions, give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. We'll see you guys next time. Send some love to the animals. Yeah, send some love to the zoo. All right. Bye. Bye. Stay subscribed. Okay. Okay. Can you say bye? <laughs> you want to say bye? You really struggled to get out of my lap there. <laughs> Okay, I let you go. Oh my god, ow. <laughs> Bye.